Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Wednesday, March 14th, 2018. First, we'll take a look at the precipitation observed for the past 14 days. Um, the image on the left is the observed amounts. The image on the right is the percent of normal. Uh, for the month of March, we have seen a few storms roll through the Great Basin, bringing normal to above normal precipitation even for portions of the central Idaho mountains and across central and northeast Nevada and even over western Nevada. Um, it's been a favorable month so far. However, over Utah, the values are still very much below normal for the time of year, um, even though we've had some high elevation snow and valley rain, we've still been very dry uh, for the time of year, particularly over eastern and southeastern Utah. New snowfall over the past 72 hours is shown in the image on the left. We've seen some precipitation moving into western portions of the Great Basin, and there was a little storm that moved across southern Utah a few days ago, bringing some snow to the higher elevations there. Current snow depth is shown on the right with the areas showing highest snow depth uh, remaining over the central Idaho mountains and western Wyoming with uh, significantly lower values over the mountains of northern and central Utah. This morning's satellite imagery is showing a change in the weather pattern on tap so as we're looking for a series of low pressure systems to move through the Great Basin this week into the weekend and even into next week. Um, the weather pattern will be unsettled with periods of precipitation, both rain and snow, for much of the Great Basin. And we should expect to see good air quality and high ventilation rates uh, through the duration of the next week. Starting today, this first area of low pressure will drop through the Great Basin, bringing precipitation to much of the region. We also expect to see very strong winds uh, out ahead of this air, uh, low pressure system, mainly across Utah for today. Ventilation rates are pretty good region-wide. Taking a closer look here at the winds on the left, we can see the, the corridor for the highest southwest winds will be over southeast Nevada and into western Utah for this afternoon. And mixing heights are going to be pretty high for much of the area as well. This low pressure continues to move through the Great Basin on Thursday for a continuation of some of the showers, um, mainly across the northern two-thirds of the region. Ventilation rates remain high. Winds will be strongest tomorrow along the Sierra Front and into southeast Utah. The winds in southeast Utah are associated with the low moving through today and into tomorrow. And then uh, we'll start to see another area of low pressure moving into northern California, which will bring those winds uh, into western Nevada. Mixing heights remain pretty high for much of the region on Thursday. On Friday, we'll see that next little center of low pressure moving into northern California, and that will bring another chance of some showers, uh, mainly this time to northern and central Nevada and up into Idaho and to some extent portions of northern Utah. Ventilation rates remain high. Those transport winds ahead of that next low will be strongest over southern Nevada and western Utah on Friday with high mixing heights. Uh, due to the progressive nature of these storms, we will expect to see a very high clearing index across Utah for the next three days. The three-day precipitation accumulations are shown here. Uh, we are expecting some pretty good storm totals with uh, th this rain um, event. And the best chance for that, that precip is going to be over the mountains of Utah and across portions of central and eastern Nevada and to some extent up into Idaho as well. On Saturday, another low drops into the Great Basin. This time we'll see temperatures uh, come down enough to possibly generate some valley snow showers um, as this storm moves through and the ventilation rates remain high. On Sunday, we'll see a little bit of a break in the action as that low moves out to the east and we're looking out to the west for the next storm system to come through. Uh, Monday will be another fairly clear day across the area. And then by Tuesday, moisture from that next area of low pressure will spread into the Great Basin and we could see the next round of showers uh, move into the area. The precipitation accumulations for days four and five uh, is shown here, uh, looking for Saturday through Monday here. Um, this next precipitation event will largely produce rain and snow over Idaho, western Wyoming, and across much of Utah. The extended forecasts going into the third week of March 
are calling for continued below normal temperatures region wide and continued above normal chances for precipitation. So we will remain in this uh, cool wet pattern uh, pretty much through the end of March. This concludes today's smoke dispersion briefing. Please check back on Friday for the latest updates.